Thank you, Thanks Mr. very much, Robert. You and I are in the news media, you know. We follow yeah. stories. <laughs> we know things sometimes before they even happen. So how come I forgot to change my clocks this weekend? No, I don't know. I got a call. My son was at a sleepover. Uh -huh. I was supposed to pick him up at 9.30. He uh -huh. calls at what I think is about 8 o'clock. Oh, Dad, oh. where are you, man? I forgot. We got 12 clocks in the house to be oh, one of them. Barry. Dumb. I know. No, not dumb, but you just forgot. It can slip your mind. You know, yeah. I changed one of my clocks, and it's going to be a week before I get to the VCR, the microwave, all that <laughs> stuff. You know, changing one or two is one thing, but yeah. imagine having to change three, four, maybe even a dozen. That yeah. would be another thing. Uh -huh. Nick Peak's clock shop in Salinas has clock upon clock upon clock. They have to change them this time of year, and our Robert Santos is there to see how this time-consuming process is going. You know, I tell you, in the past 30 seconds, I've learned so much about clocks. There are more than a dozen, I should say, that uh, McPeaks here have to change every time daylight savings time rolls around. I mean, you've got antiques. This one's 100 years old, a uh, 100-year-old French antique there. These are mechanical clocks, most of them, and that's where, where, where it gets really time-consuming. Joining us this morning, Robert Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, thanks for joining us here. Thank you. Uh, it is time-consuming, because uh, it's not just a matter of taking that second hand and winding it. Tell us about that, especially if, for those of you who have a grandfather clock. What you need to do is you need to get the minute hand and advance it forward to the 15-minute mark and let it chime. Okay. Once it's completed its chime, you then advance it forward to the 45-minute okay. mark. Let me, let me you try that, that now. There. Okay, so just like that. And wait for it to chime. Let, let it chime. It's currently okay. playing Westminster chime. Okay, so you actually get to choose. So don't have your don't, don't tell your your little kid to wind it because they'll probably no, they'll actually do damage okay. to the clock. So how long does that? Okay, and then we've got the last. Hour, yeah. Okay, so that's actually wild. You talked about how every time daylight saving time comes around, uh, a lot of people call in because they've they've uh, damaged their clock in some way, huh? What a lot of people do is they move the hour hand forward. They simply just move it forward, and what happens is the next hour when it goes around, if you point it at nine, it'll be striking eight times. Okay. Clock becomes unsynchronized. So there is there is a lot to know, and you know if you think you do know a lot about daily daylight saving time, well, we're going to test that and we'll give you a little bit of trivia, and it'll give you a chance to win this beautiful solid cherry wood alarm clock, thanks to the McPeak Clock Shop here. Come back a little later, and we'll tell you that question and give you a chance to win that. Ooh. Barry Colling, back to you. We have, what we do have to look forward to is uh, Robert Santos. He's been live at Mc, McPeak. McPeak's, McPeak's uh, McPeak. Clock Shop. Yeah. And I wasn't sure what to expect. I thought, oh, they've got a couple dozen clocks or something. They got a lot of Ooh, clocks there. Of clocks. And when daylight saving hits, you gotta move them. Yeah. So we not only have that, plus the opportunity for somebody to win a clock. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check let's in with Robert. Let's see what's going on. Let's, oh, let's get that one going. That You guys were talking so much, it ended already. It's playing It's a Small World. A lot of neat clocks here in the Peaks uh, Clock Shop in Salinas. Joining us again, Robert McKee. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Sure. Tell us a little bit about this one here. Uh, you know, uh, we're talking about daylight saving time. A good reminder for you that you should have. Look at how neat that one is. It's rhythm clock. It's the drummer boys and plays the music. Boy, listen to that there. Boy, it would be really nice to wake up to this rather than our emergency broadcast system sounding alarm clocks in the morning. Uh, here, take a, take a look at this one right here. This one, the dial opens up, and then it plays music. Cherry wood with a high gloss finish. Now, if you're just coming back from a trip and you're getting up, you're already late. If you think it's six o'clock, you should have advanced your clocks already this past weekend. Robert uh, was talking about grandfather clocks. If you have one, there is a specific way to do it, and we talked about that. What happens come October when they need to to rewind? You need to go forward 11 hours, stopping every 15 minutes to let it shine. So it's where you need to stand there. What is? How long does that take? It's going to take a couple, about three or four minutes to three do that. You just have to have a little bit of patience. Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah. All right. We talked about, a little bit about your, your your training. You actually yeah. have to go to school for yeah. this. Well, huh? first, I learned from my grandpa. I started in 1989. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I've been going to school in Pennsylvania to mm -hmm. learn to become a master clock maker. Okay. It's, when we talked about daylight saving time, I remember it used to be the last April, or the last Sunday of April, right? Yes. And then President Reagan, I think, uh, what year was that when he changed it in 1987? To the first, first weekend. To the first Sunday. So things are constantly changing about daylight saving time. Remember I told you that we're going to be giving away a beautiful, uh, solid uh, cherry wood, sorry there, solid cherry wood uh, alarm clock, uh, complimentary, of uh, the McPeaks, the good folks here at McPeaks. The question is now, we want to find out if you do know a lot about daylight savings time. Take a look at this real quick, and I want to ask you this question to see if you know this. The question is, 
what country established daylight saving time and when. There's the phone number here to McPeak, 449-5200. If you know that, give us a call. We want to find out if you really know a lot about daylight saving time. We go through it all. The phones are already ringing off the hook. We're going to find out who the winner is of this beautiful clock right here. And when we come back, we're going to tell you who. Stay with us, Barry Colleen. Okay. Hey, tough question, Robert. I don't know the answer to that, do you? Someone apparently does. Talk about response. Oh, Johnny on the spot. Nice clock. Good They're thing. nice for the McPeak. I love the, the little the clock that came out like this. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, all the little guys doing stuff. Yeah, I wonder if he makes those. We'll have to find out. I think I'm going to ask him when he comes back. Okay.